In Central Texas, like Austin and Cedar Park, have lifted penalties for low-level marijuana possession, but no city in Hayes County has done that just yet. But that could soon change. KXN's Sarah Alsheh explains the proposal and the response it's getting from Hayes County officials policy that we're working now to pass would just end all legal penalties for low-level possession of marijuana um, in San Marcos. The city of San Marcos is one step closer to decriminalizing marijuana. Local advocacy group Mano Amiga collected enough verified petition signatures to get the issue in front of the city council and potentially on the November ballot. The council cannot reject it and they cannot change any of the language in the policy. Um, all they can do is either pass it outright or send it to the ballot. The the measure would decriminalize possession of up to four ounces of marijuana in San Marcos, but that only applies to the city's police officers and no other city or county law enforcement agency. In a statement sent to KXAN, Hayes County District Attorney Wes Mouse said, quote, officers, deputies, and troopers who encounter persons in possession of marijuana in the city limits may still enforce the state law. Mao believes sight and divert is a better alternative where people have the chance to avoid an offense on their criminal record like a low-level marijuana possession. City Council passed a site and divert program in 2020, but it still has not been implemented. Mao says they are waiting for the county to establish a pre-trial services division and a public defender's office. But those with Mano Amiga say they are tired of waiting. Uh, this is just the beginning of a movement to really transform our legal system. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And City Council will take action on the petition next Wednesday. It's expected to decide then to put it on the November ballot.